Now, Saif, I was very I, – I, you probably didn't care as much as I did, but I was very excited this week that someone unearthed the Jay-Z 2001 Summer Jam performance. Yeah. I thought it was like a very big deal for the Wand Eppers. I yeah I I don't I get I you were very excited about it. You made multiple posts and comments about it. Uh, I guess it was a big deal. I I watched through some of it. I guess I was there, so it wasn't as big of a deal. But also, I didn't remember a lot of that stuff. You only remember the the, the prodigy and the Michael Jackson. Um, I don't know why you were that excited, and I don't know why I wasn't. I, I think you just said it well, though. The fact that you were there and, you know, you've seen it and the fact that I wasn't there, have not seen it, it makes sense. Now, I'm going to see if this can work, Cypher. Let's see if we can watch some of this together. What are your thoughts? Well, I guess, I guess thinking back on, like, it wasn't as easy as to record shows as it is today with a, with a camera phone. So this person had to have, I guess, some kind of video camera. So we're so shout out to shout out to hiphopvcr.com, who who's the guy who posted it. Is this the guy who shot it though? It is not. I talked okay. to him. I'm gonna bring him on here in a few minutes. We'll talk to him and ask him what happened. From hip hop VCR. Yeah. And because he, he hasn't he has a you know, he 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 got it. Right. And, and let's see if we can hear it too. Hold on. I wonder if Hove watched it or saw it he, like, I, just... I, I made sure that he did uh-huh can you hear that yeah now say first things first can we don't, talk about don't flexes? say I was gonna say his so, outfit, his outfit, and his not skinniness. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he, hates, he hates this. He hates that this is Yo, so the first thing to notice for anyone watching with us listening, the first thing to notice is the level of booze received when he just mentions. That Destiny's Child had performed earlier. <laughs> Listen to how bad this is. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people stepped on the stage. Oops. Yes, thank you. What, okay, exactly. you're asking us a you regular question. Yo, bro, how could it have been that bad? It's like, why was Destiny's Child booed that way? Come on, it's like... It's a it's summer jam. It's a hip hop concert. They want to see real hip hop shit. They, that's what summer jam has always been. Can you get the other one now? Sorry, the dogs are barking. Let me tell you something about two dogs. Yeah. Do they, they get along? Your stepchildren? They the stepchildren get along, but come on, they get along. They just create so much noise. Um. You just Thank did a you, weird delicious coffee. You just did a weird point for your for your lady to go handle the dog situation. Did you I did really? a real a weird like I'm the king handle this. Like you did like a point like, handle this. What Natalie the- Sife just said I did a weird point to send you to the door. I was just right. like go. You didn't even say words. You were like Get those fucking dogs. That's what you said with your point. Was my mom already awake? Yeah. Okay, good. As long as my mom's already up, it's not a big deal. By the way, Saif, why is Flex still on the stage? <laughs> why is he doing a recap? We know who we saw.
And now, Pyro. Who's DJing? I, the word is, I think it may have been Clark Kent. I think it was Clark. Yeah, I think it Yo, was Clark. Yo, he comes out. So what year is this? Oh, one. And this is from Dynasty? Yeah. Which is what? Isn't it? 90, yeah, this is from the Dynasty, right? <laughs> Damn, it's, these songs are old as fuck, bro. Big diamonds in the air. Oh, yeah, they have the Dynasty logo up there. What, what essentially this is timing wise is it's the timing between Dynasty and Blueprint. So it's all the hits off Dynasty are the biggest records he plays because they were the most recent. Oh, hit. oh, okay, hold up. So Summer Jam is like June. Right. So 9 11 hasn't even happened yet. Bro, on stage during it, he says Blueprint September 25th. Oh, shit. They pushed it up. Uh, because of bootlegging. Right. But he says September 25th. Oh, my God. So this is, yeah. Th and and Dynasty is the one before Blueprint, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is, the hits are Change the Game, You, Me, Him, and Her, yeah. you know. Um, but Dynasty is, um, is the Pharrell joint. Right? That joint, yeah. too. Here we go. That was before Blueprint. That's crazy. Yes, y'all. I see your fascination with this now that I'm watching it. Because I, so it's like, there's so much to it. It's like, why does he play what he plays? First of all, he's also unusually good for him in that era on stage. Like, he's really good on stage, too. And he wasn't yet that great on stage in that era. I think by the time Blueprint came around, he was much better. Well, that's the thing. It's happening before our very eyes in this video. Yeah. This is the... His, like, that's outfit why I love is, the outfit is something else. It's horrible. But this moment... He's becoming the the number one guy in this moment, yeah. literally in this moment. Yeah. And he planned it. He planned it. It's like they even came out with Pyro. There's no way anyone else had Pyro. Not back then, though. He had Pyro. Yeah. And he ends the show with more shit. They had screens. There was no screens back then. There was no putting shit on the screen. Was he headlining? Yes, he's last. He's last. A lot of shit going on in the rap music. Shit. You know, a lot of cats. You know. Yapping and shit. Right, Lord. Right, Lord. Y'all know what the fuck I do. You know what I'm saying? Bro, the stage is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? It's just Hold on. hot ninety-seven banners yeah, 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 taped yeah, yeah, yeah. to the you know DJ booth. It's like the, the, the tape promotional banners are so bad. <laughs> Yo, if you're if you're just listening, Hove's on stage wearing a basketball jersey, gigantic shorts, hanger honors all over the back of the stage, and and just the DJ booth has draped crappy red hot 97 banners. So so Sife. This I is where we start getting early. So here's where we start getting into it. All right. Yeah. They're only like five minutes in. He's playing a new song no right. one's ever heard. No one's ever heard. I remember. I was there. We were, everybody was like, what's this? So the ill shit to listen to is that he's so good in this moment. He enunciates so well. That people are responding the entire song like, oh, ooh, it's 
That's how it used to be, though. You could do new shit or do it. It's like he's doing a freestyle, but it's actually well, a song that's going to be on the album. I, I saw Shaheen. I think it was Shaheen Reed's article on MTV.com back then about it. Mm. And he described it as he did a freestyle. Right. Where he dissed Nas. Right, right. All right, let's, uh, all right, let's hear it. Let's hear how it goes. We run in this rap shit. We run in this rap shit. Oh, we run in this rap shit. Chris and me, we run in this rap shit. The takeover, the race over, nigga. God MC, me, Jay Hover, Halo soldier. You ain't ready for war. ROC too strong for y'all. It's like bringing a knife to a gunfight, pick to a test. Your chest is a lot of fire with your big ass vest. You bringing the boys to bed. How the boys go win? This is pro man B.I. Get you rope in the tree, I be Oh, oh. oh. strong enough. Fuck up. Run the brother is the army. You better get the baby. Niggas will cheat that your baby. Spit at your baby. We bring back the fist fight. Kill your trap. Okay. The beat is mad low. The beat is mad low so that you can hear every word. Yep. He's obviously dissing somebody, but no one knows who yet. Right. And they're going nuts off of the fucking. Oh, they're he's. Di- he's, oh, dissing he's dissing. Someone. Who's he dissing? What, what's going on? And they did it so early. I didn't realize they did it so early. I, I, Saif, how about this? Because he had more. Like, this was just an initial shock. Then he had more shit he was going to do. Well, he knows he knows that he has the prodigy picture coming up here. Yep. He knows that he has Michael Jackson at the end. Bro, he has Michael Jackson in the green room. Like, So he's already got Michael Jackson in the green room. He's got the picture of prodigy. And in the middle, we'll get to it, all these surprise guests that he has lined up too. It's- Bro, him, Michael Jackson already being there. Like he said, he said to himself, I already won. That's why the performance is so effortless because I already, I already know what I got in the chamber. It's unfuckwittable. It's, it's, we'll get there. It's so fucking great. I'm about to diss Prodigy and Nas. They don't even know. They don't know he's about to diss Prodigy and Nas. I'm about to diss Prodigy and Nas. I'm about to set this building on flames. Now, by the way, I just need you to know, I know this is ridiculous. I did not quite realize that the picture of Prodigy happened mid-song. What do you mean? Ballerina, I got the pictures, I seen you. I didn't realize that he, that's when he showed the picture of Prodigy. I sort of <laughs> thought it was like after the song, he talked right, shit right, right. and then showed the picture. Nah, in the thing. I didn't realize, thing. because that's even crazier that it worked so well that people heard the bar yeah. and saw it and were like, that's a lot to process. You're, yeah. Like in this era where people are on their phones and not paying attention, yeah. You're really asking a lot. Like, they wouldn't do it now. No, nah, they couldn't. They, they would miss the moment. Right. By the way, I should also note, while talking about things I didn't know because I'm an idiot, I did not realize this week. Give it a minute. I, you, can you hear my um, Can you hear my dog, Rocky, hacking and nearly dying? Now I can. Now you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. he, it's okay. Give it a second. It'll, it'll pass. If not, though, maybe. Thank you, babe. Um. I should also note this week I found out Saif, that I never understood where the term I'm Swayze came from. You're like I'm ghost? I did not know you that. You didn't know what Swayze meant? <laughs> how I did just, you, I heard how did you just like, learn that? I heard people like, yo, I'm Swayze. And I was like, all right. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I did not. Natalie, did you know that term? That Swayze meant ghost? You knew that? I didn't. I didn't know that. I She's from New York, man. Yo, so 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 Ebro and and Shawnee were laughing at me. They're like, "Wait, you didn't know Swayze meant ghost?" And I said, "Hold on, 
Don't say I'm the weird one for not assuming it was about Patrick Swayze. Like, that's so random in retrospect. Well, like, because he, he if you're big. from New York, yeah, yeah, but if you're from New York, we used to say, yo, I'm ghost, which means you're, you're out. So then it, it changed somebody slick, whoever it was. I love, I love, I wish I could do a, a book on slang and who originally, Good. somebody slick said, instead of saying, I'm ghost, I'm By Swayze. The way, so I, Scythe, you just came up with a great idea for a one app fucking coffee table book. Shh. 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 <laughs> All right, here we go. We run in this rap shit. I don't care if you mob deep. I hold triggers the crew. You know what? The I got money stacks bigger than you. Oh. Oh. No. No. Better than I ever dreamed. But it's like, hold on. There's a there's another verse, right? He doesn't do it. He doesn't have it yet. But there is a, there's a verse dissing Nas, right? Am mm-hmm. I like now? I'm getting confused. That's all he said. Ask all? Nas. He don't want it. Well, hope that's the diss on Summer Jam. That's the only diss. But then the, when the song comes out a month later, because it was the B side of 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 Izzo, right? I I don't remember. I think, I think, I think so, yeah. Over's the B-side of Izzo. Yeah, it had to be. Um, yes. Ask Nas. So, he don't want it with Hove. And then the next song starts. That's crazy. So when it comes out, later, he now has another verse where he fully goes in. No, he had the verse here. He just didn't do it. Or he had the verse here and just said, we don't need he had the Yeah, he, he had the whole song. Real quick, it says the single Izzo was officially yeah. released. Sife, this is wild. He closes his set with Izzo. Yeah. It wasn't released until August 21st. Bro, it was different back then, man. There was no He internet. did this you all just... two months early. Yeah. It, well, how you, what do you expect? That's how long it took for shit to go viral. Because think about it. He dissed Prodigy. He dissed Nas. Shaheem Reed had to write about it, right. put it in a magazine that was printed 60 days later, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's not like nowadays where you go online and the news is up instantly. There's no Twitter. There's no YouTube. There's no nothing. Like, it had to, that's actual viral. You know what I mean? Like, it had to spread like word of mouth. So there's let's say there's what seventeen thousand maybe fifteen thousand people here, no not even. This is Nassau Coliseum. It's twelve thousand people here, and the shit spread through the hood through those twelve thousand. Yep. By the way, okay, I I I got it wrong. I'm so I'm so sorry. I, I don't know how I got it Come wrong. On, I'm Billy. ashamed. I'm I know I'm ashamed. Dude, you don't know is the B side of Izzo, of course. Girls, 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 and Takeover, right? I don't know. I don't have. My, I'm not at my vinyl collection. I'm looking. I, I do upstairs, but I'm gonna look on the just on the discogs. I do upstairs. <laughs> Here it is, master release. Girls, girls, girls. T- takeover. Yes. Sorry, sorry, everyone. We're shamed. <sighs> It was Izzo, you don't know. Girls, girls, girls take How over. How are you fucking this up? 
We're the podcast known for having for Jay-Z right. schlong in our fucking mouths, and you don't even know the shit. All right, you're right. Sorry, here. I know everybody's like, they're talking about Hove again. Yo, you know what this makes me think? We should do an entire podcast about him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Should we do the entire podcast on Jay Z on a company that Nas owns? <laughs> yes. What's wrong with us? Yes. What's wrong with us? We're fucking idiots. Yo, I hindsight said, is ninety ninety, bro. How did? Why did we do that? Why did I, we do that? I remember too, like you and my brother, immediately both when I was like, "What about Jay Z?" You guys were like, "That's it." I was like, and I'm like, yeah, why overthink it? He's the greatest of all time. Let's just do it about Jay Z. No one said, including Mass Appeal, nobody said, wait, 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 wait. Why don't you guys do one about the life and career of Nas? Wait, hold on. We would walk out of the studio recording and, and Nas would Nas. be there and be like, yo, oh man, we just did a podcast episode about Jay Z. He was probably like, the fuck are you talking about yo we are morons <laughs> yeah the audience is on fire bro by the way it's an interesting mix of there's tons of people on the stage and yet but it's not the way in later years it's been with like dipset it, no, it's no, a no, ton no, of no. people on stage but they're clearly behind him yeah they're 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 they're, they're playing their position way more than like a like a dipset or a locks or no, it's not. It's groups. not 2014 where Slow Bucks is like standing in the middle of the stage. Yeah, they're behind the DJ booth, which is good. Yeah, they're back. It's a different era. Yeah. I still love that line. The fire I the fire I spit blew down Happy Land, burned down Bro, Happy Land. That's such a New York. Bro, I was a kid, and there was this, what they call these underground illegal social clubs in the Bronx. And if there was a fire and people were trapped and killed in there. And, like, to say that line, though, and that, like, and that line, 2001, Happy Land, I think, happened in the early 90s, maybe late 80s. Wait, so Happy like, Land was an underground social club? Yeah, it was, like, an illegal club. Never like this- in my life. La- I thought Happy Land was like an amusement park and he was just no. saying the fire that spits would Bro, burn down. Happy land. You know the you know when you're walking down the streets in New York and there's those fucking doors that go to the, the cellar? Like there's no entrance to the basement in the store. They have to go outside and open those fucking grates. Yeah. I think it was yep. in there. It was in one of those. It was like a illegal nightclub. What year are we talking? I had to be late 80s, maybe early 90s. Wow. Memphis in the most Mem- 1990. But it was 90? 1990. Memphis is wearing the most Memphis outfit well, of all time. It's amazing. You can come outside. I'm doing my mom just walked out. I'm doing my podcast, but you can come outside. Oh, thank you. We just had, we, we, I just had Starbucks. We were up early. Thanks, Mom. Oh, here we go. He's wearing Scythe the gigantic jean shorts quadruple x t skirt <laughs> with, with the fitted here we go with the, with the do-rag. 
Oh yeah, do rag under the backwards hat. Yup. Do you think it's fair to say that, like, on look alone, Memph Bleak is one of the coolest dudes ever in rap? No. What do you mean? Like, he's just a cool-looking dude. Yeah, like, no, but like, I would say I, the coolest. I didn't, okay, I'm not giving him number one, <clears throat> but he is one of the coolest. Seem, his brand was put together very nicely. Like, he put it all together. His brand for that era was on the nose. On the fucking nose. Yeah. 100%. Like, he, gonna, like here, okay, here's a question I have for you. Do you believe there were nights ever in history? Like, do you think there's ever been a night in history where Memphis Bleak was so cool that even though him and Hove were out together, he scored the best chick in the club because he was that dude? I, yes. Yes. Like, and he the reason could do why. That. Yes, because, like, I, like, it's probably, Hove is wearing basically the same thing almost, but it probably came from Bleak back then. Like, Bleak was in the streets in Marcy, had the style. Yes. And then they would, you know, they would be like, oh, like, yo, now you got to get a jersey, Hove. You got to get a, you know what I mean? And he would take Hove to whatever the store was. And get them right. You know what I mean? While we're while we're mentioning it, yo, the name, the nickname Hove yeah. is one of the most transcendent nicknames of all time. It meaning like everyone knows who you mean, and it's interchangeable now with yeah. Jay. Yeah. It, yeah. Hove he, is he Hove, made his wait, name it, God. He made his name God. No, but and I, everyone but, says but Dame says I think Dame says he made that up, right? I don't know. Is that true? I think I saw an interview recently where Dame was like, I made up Jehovah. Jehovah. Yeah. I believe Dame. it was Dame. But boy, did it work well. No, but because Jehovah is you know what's crazy about hip hop? Hove it's is a out nickname. Huh? Hip hop set out in the park. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, Hove is a nickname of another nickname. Yeah, like it's Jehovah. Like it's yes. J Jay Z, but you're the God MC, so you're Jehovah instead yep. of Jehovah. And then yep. they break that into another. How many names can you have in hip hop? Does he have any others though? Is that that's it, right? Ovito. Jay. What? Hovito. Who calls him Hovito? People call him Hovito. They do? Yeah, because it's like... I, I want to know who. I want to know who calls him Hovito. His names, his names transcend so much that they no longer become nicknames. They become names. And then when you know somebody that you're very familiar with and you're very close with, you often give them a nickname to show your, you know, like a term of endearment. So hey, now I, his name is Hove. Do you think we could, do you think if we have children, if we Don't have four kids, we could name them Jay, Sean, Hove, and Hovito. Right. Hovito's the smallest one, obviously. The little one, the little one's Hovito. The last one? Yeah. What if he grows up to be bigger than the rest? That's fine. But you go in order. You go Sean, right. Jay, right. Hove, Hovito. Yeah. Any? Are we forgetting any others? Any other nicknames for him? There has to be. I know there's more. Do you think if I Google Jay-Z nicknames, it'll come up? Well, let's find out, man. What else do we have to do? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> hello? Uh, do we not need to have a fifth child named Jigga? Oh, yeah, Jigga. What's wrong oh, with us? Fuck? We skipped Jigga. <laughs> Here's what's listed online. Oh, oh, there's a cheat sheet that says Jay-Z's most popular nicknames and their meanings. Okay. People in his neighborhood called him Jazzy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Should we call Nas and ask him to put this out for us? <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, Nas, we were thinking we want to break down Jay Z's nicknames. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, people in his neighborhood called him Jazzy. Right. That's where Jay Z comes from. It says Izzo is an abbreviation of another nickname. Mm-hmm. It's the O, it says in Hova. Yeah, H to H the, the Izzo. Izzo. Yeah, H we know that. We are the, that. Yeah. Jehovah is homage to Jehovah, it says. Mm-hmm. We know that. Yeah, but it's not homage. He's not Jehovah's okay. Witness. No. It's because he's the God MC. Jigga, me, Jehovah. Jigga comes from his early days as a street rapper. That's what it God. says. What, what is this, Urban Dictionary? Yeah, exactly. Basically. Um, and that's it. Urban Dictionary. Let me tell you what Urban Dictionary is. Urban it Dictionary. It wasn't Urban is, Dictionary, but it was Urban Dictionary in Jays. Yeah, it's you're at a white college, and there's one black kid at this white college, but he grew up in a white neighborhood. And wherever he's from, he's from Kenosha, Wisconsin. And you're going to school in fucking North Dakota. And Anything that they want to ask about hip hop, they ask the black kid, and he just makes some shit up, just to appease the people asking him the question. <laughs> Why is Jay Z called Jehovah? Well, it's really from Jehovah because he loved he loved Jehovah's Witnesses because they used to knock on the door. You know what I'm saying? And like, right. no, that's and not he what needs at no, all. No, he lo- it's it's Jehovah because he always felt that he was knocking on the door of the hip hop industry. Bro, the name the, the Urban Dictionary is literally the worst. So there's some but other like, nicknames though that that it lists on on Google. Iceberg yeah. Slim, Iceberg Slim, um, Joe Camel. I feel like that's not a nice one. Joe Camel is not. That is not a nickname. That is some very disrespectful shit. Yeah, I don't think anyone should call him that. Um, Lucky Lefty. Never heard that. S dot. S dot. S dot is out there. S dot was out there. Young Hove. Okay. By the way, uh, 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 hold on. We can't forget that there were times when he just referred to himself as Young. Yep. <laughs> it's young. And and which of the William Hollas was it? <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah. I think he was William H Holla. Was he? Or was that Clue? Clues William M. Holla. Oh, William M. Holla. Yup. Um, Jay-Z William <laughs> H. So so on, yeah, on Stick to the Script, Clue starts out by going, yeah, DJ Clue, a.k.a. William M. Holla uh-huh. with, with William H. Holla. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's Jay-Z's record. So I believe then. But Beanie's on it, too. Is he one of the oh, William no, no. Hollers? Jay, Jay starts. They call me William H., the all-time great. I fucked the most hoes out of New York State. Oh. I mean, that's even all, Albany right? and Schenectady? So that's William go- H. Holler. Uh-huh. I got to tell you, Saif, I, 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 have to t- I have to say I really do enjoy and I'm happy in life. That I have a, a partner that I can yell out to her. Hey, was that Hove who said I'm William H. Hala? And she said, Yes, assuredly. I, I, I love, I'm in love. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Saif, we here's, were here now. Here's here's the thing. Go ahead. We did this whole Juan Epstein thing on Mass Appeal talking about Jay-Z, and we did some yeah. amazing Juan Ep interviews that never got used because the producer decided to chop the shit out of them yeah. Yeah. and make this weird fucking fake NPR chop up. But in true Juan Ep fashion, we don't have the full-length interviews anywhere. Where are I they? Thought you got, I thought you got them. No, I don't have If I had them, they'd be out. Yes, we did a we did a ton of full length interviews where we probably covered some of this too in those interviews. Man, yeah. I, I, uh, uh. All right, let's keep going. Let's let's watch more of this. Let's All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't focus on that. You don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna skip ahead. There's Bleak. Right. 
stage is pretty crowded. Stage is getting crowded. Stage is getting more crowded. So now we're out of um, you, me, him, and her. Put your hands up. You know what's crazy? Dame is in the background dancing up a storm going crazy. Oh, you're dancing his ass off. Dame never had a mic? Not here. It's weird. You think of all the shit he's doing, he would have a mic. Yeah, no no, no mic for Dame. Hmm. Yo, he's, he's so into it. My favorite thing here is, too, is, first of all, one thing that's sort of underrated in history because you, you only have so much brain capacity to remember every moment. Yo, Dumai was a big moment. Yeah, Dumai was big. Dumai was, that fucking worked. Yeah. That was, uh, when you played that in any club setting, it popped off. Bro, there's so many songs from the early Rockefeller Jay-Z days that used to fucking smash that have not stood the test of time because he's made so many more, like, classics. But there was an era, all this shit was popping. I remember when you were talking about Memphis Bleak, one night he he was doing Club Speed. Bro, he rolled up in a Benz, parked right in front, hopped out, and the fucking street went bananas, bro. Like, he was the epitome of, like, Brooklyn coolness at that time, bro. I told that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was cool the epitome. Ever. Yeah. Um, all right, so so this is the do my moment. I think this is the bleak moment. So they kept him from you, me, him, and her. Then they go into do my. Yo, listen how blatant the women going hell yeah, and the dudes going hell yeah. It's like it's incredible. What's, what's up? Shut up. By the way, I think, Sype, without the video, people would forget to talk about how big a night it was for Memphis also. He's in a big spot here. Yeah. Now, what about this? What? You remember that? Missy? I do not, I do not remember it. She got outshadowed by Michael Jackson. All right. Hey, Scythe. Prior, prior to this performance, were artists doing the thing of bringing out artists and letting I was them literally, I was literally just thinking that. Like, the, the surprises at Summer Jam is just now a thing. I don't know how much it was happening beforehand because this was, like, really, like, this was, like, I think my second Summer Jam. I'm just trying to think of prior to this. If we were to look at all the people that did Summer Jam, I don't know that we would find one where there would have been someone who would have done this. Like, I think prior to that, it was more of a regular concert. Everyone yeah, did but, their no, but, Yeah, but also, like, people would bring out their people. Like, EPMD would bring out Redman and Keith Murray. And, like, you know, maybe they weren't on the bill, but they've, they've, they had song. Like, it would probably be a lot more of the people you had songs with. Right. Whereas Summer Jam has gotten to the point where, like, we just bring out the hottest artists. Doesn't even matter if you have a song with them. You know? Let's see. Well, this is ridiculous. There's a Hot 97 Summer I'm Jam. I'm sure, like, I'm sure Puffy, Bad Boy, Biggie brought out a ton of people when Biggie performed. Right. You know what I mean? Like, That's Total and fucking whoever else was on Bad Boy at the time. 
by the way, what a what a ridiculous thing that you can't just click on a thing on the internet and find the Summer Jam lineups. Yeah. Like like with all the guests and all that shit. Oh, and just any you can't even find the basic lineup. Yeah. Like you have to look around, you have to look around for each one. Like you can't it, there's not the Wikipedia page. But uh, do you know any do you know anyone that works there that could fix that? No. You oh, work at Hot 97. No, nah, I don't know. Hey, oh, how about this though? Here we go. I did find a good list though. 94 Tribe, Arrested Development, Black Moon, Gangstar, Nas, Queen Latifah, SWV, Wu Tang. Awesome. Awesome. Don't know how many guests would have come out with anyone. Awesome. 95. Blackstreet, Brandy, Method Man, Naughty, Shaba, Soul for Real, Biggie. Shaba. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 96 is not there. I don't know why. 97. 112, Aaliyah, Blackstreet, Bone Thugs, Diddy, Faith, Foxy, Heavy, Jay, Kim, Mary, Mace, Locks, Wu-Tang. Some of those have to all be in the same set with Diddy, right? Yeah, I, I would think so, yes. I would think Mace, the Locks, Kim, that was all yeah, with Diddy's set. It was all in there, yeah. 2001, of course, we know Destiny's Child, Eve, blah, blah. Wait, I, hold on. You missed, you missed, there's no 99? It's it skipped 97 to 01. 98, This 99. isn't perfect. This is not. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, it's just this website skipped years that I guess happened. Look up, look up uh, bootleg Summer Jam shirts sold in the parking lot. They always had to line up on them. By the way, you don't, you don't think I already, I already looked for those on a regular uh, <laughs> I already searched for those on a regular basis. Bro, you know how much I regret not buying just every one of those? Dude. You know how like it used to be annoying. Like look at these fucking douchebags selling bootleg shirts in the fucking parking lot. Now I wish I had every single one of them. I know. We're morons. All right, here we go. All right. Can I get him? No problem. Oh, oh Ja came out. I didn't catch this the other day that Jaw came out. <laughs> Noah Mill? Mill might have been gone by then. Oh, Scythe, on some DJ shit? This yeah. was crazy to me. You know what he does here? No. Just like, just creative, just a creative segue. <laughs> Uh, fire 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 that is fire that is amazing did you have any <laughs> i had no, i never heard him do that uh, i never heard that that's a good one that's that's a scythe blend all day i have a thousand of those bro I have a thousand of those. I never thought of that one. That's a good one. That's a really that has to be Clark, right? That one, yeah. That one throws me off because the tempos are so different that my OCD brain wouldn't think of that one unless I heard it like that. But that's a good one. I'm hitting Clark right now. You DJ. What? Yeah, that's fire. That's a good one. That was so so dope. That's something that's something Clark did in parties and was like, Hove, I think you should do this on stage. Had why be. not? Because everyone loves that song too, so why not? Why not? Bro, his voice is popping. 
Yo, the, the, the level to which the crowd knows every word of every, every word. Every word. This can't be life. Floor flow tight like I was born Jewish. Scythe. What? Beanie comes out for his part. Oh. You know what time it is. So if you know what time it is, right? What time? Michael Jackson? No, Miri Ben Ari. What? Not Michael Jackson. The Israeli violinist, the hip hop violinist, <laughs> Miri Ben Ari, of course. You knew that there, this this show. If you're gonna have Michael Jackson, you have to have Miri Ben Ari. <laughs> oh, by the way, though, this shit plays great. <laughs> All right, while while we watch while we watch Miri Ben Ari get busy, let's bring in our dude who released this video, Hip Hop VCR. Come on, guys. What's up? What's up? What's what up? up, man? What's going on? What up, That's man? Up. What, what what's your uh, real name, by the way? Uh, my name is Claudio, and I'm from Washington Heights. Uh huh. I have a business in Mount Vernon, but I live in Connecticut, and I'm Dominican. <laughs> no, we already knew that from Claudio and Washington Heights. We <laughs> figured out the Dominican part. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Um, so tell us real quick as we watch Mary Ben Ari here playing the violin. <laughs> sure. How this video came to be released in this last week and not twenty years ago? As, oh, is that the actual tape? That's the actual tape, bro. Look somebody had. You're telling me someone had a camera. In Summer Jam, with that took actual VHS tapes. Right. Well, you know how big that camera was. Maybe, maybe not, because this is a copy of that okay. tape. So maybe they had the smaller tapes and right. then they transferred it to a VHS. Right. And okay. also begs the question: How many other people had the presence of mind to doing what that individual did? Right. And maybe there are other angles. Where? Okay, go ahead. Tell us. I'm. Where, where did this come from? So, yeah. So how did it happen? So, um, so FYI, so I've had the tape since 2001, which kind of breaks my heart in one way or another, right? Because is it cooler that I, it got released now? Would it have been as cool if it would have got released three years later, right? No, uh, it's, it's perfect, I think. Right. 20 years, 21 years later, so on and so forth. So um, I feel a little bit bad that I've kind of held it. I've had my eyes on this footage for a long time. And so right. the, the experience that everyone is having, I'm not having. Because right, I remember right. the Summer Jam scream. I remember Michael Jackson coming out. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember TakeOver. And so I figured that that was in everyone else's mind. Right. All these 21 years. So it's I've had this tape in my closet all that time. And I and uh, guys, I don't remember how I got it. I wasn't the one who, who videotaped it. Right. I don't know who it was. It must have been somebody who I knew who knew that person. You don't even know how you got it. I don't even know how I so got So this it. is not, because you obviously have a business called, what is, what is it? VH, HipHopVCR.com. Uh, HipHopVCR. Hip and what is this business? What do you show a lot of old well, footage and have? Right. So what it is, is it, in 1997, I started recording from right. my bedroom. I was, I was a teenager and right. I was recording all these videos. And I, I turned out to record from 1997 all the way to 2005. So okay. all that BET, MTV, public access in Manhattan, yep, yep. I recorded a bunch of that stuff, right? So yep. I have over 300 hours of all that stuff. And that's the stuff I've been putting on my platform on Instagram and on YouTube, okay. Hip Hop BTR. So that's yeah. that's the basic. It's all the stuff that I recorded. And right. in this case, I got my hands on this footage in 2001. And we don't know how. We don't know who taped it. 
Is there a it's chance crazy. that it, it aired on public access real quick once and I taped it? Mm. But public <laughs> access is mm. so random. You don't know when this stuff airs, and I have yeah. the entire footage. Right. Is, no you have the whole Summer Jam or just Jay-Z's performance? No, just Jay-Z. Okay, just, just Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Just Jay-Z. Just, just Jay-Z. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that, that's crazy because where's the rest of the Summer Jam? Right. 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 But whoever taped it only cared about I guess the J version. Yeah. Or you only got the J part. Yeah, man. And, and I can't tell you. And, and because it was so fresh, it wasn't that valuable to me, right? Because I, I had just experienced the, you know, Jay-Z dropping takeover on the mixtapes and yeah. all that stuff. And so, you know, this probably comes into my bedroom. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, let me just record it and forget about it. Right, right. And the thing is, because I was at the Summer Jam, and I remember... The scream, the prodigy picture. I remember Michael Jackson walking past me backstage. Wow. <laughs> but watching it now, I forgot a lot of this stuff. We yeah. our brain goes to the highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. You're right. Um, I have the same experience. Um, I have to watch it again. I haven't had time to watch it, but me and my wife, we're gonna sit and watch the entire thing. I don't think I've ever watched the entire thing, to be honest. Oh, it's a actually I gotta we got let's 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 tune back in. And FYI, I'm a huge Jay Z fan, a supporter. Yeah. Huge, my entire, uh, you know, life. So this is like, this is him doing big pimping with Mary Ben Ari playing the sample. This is crazy, man. Saif, what legendary hip hop concert is complete without an Israeli violin? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, back in this day, while well, they did 1 900 Hustler, that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even know that. I did. And look at Freeway. Wow. Yep, Freeway. there's free. And look at him with the chopper, with the chopper, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> chopping the crowd. Now, did you, did you, do you have a lot of, a lot of other live performances? Because you mostly just recorded TV. Right. So a lot, no. Do I have more? Potentially. Yeah. I wish I had the DMX Jay Z battle. People are asking me about that. You know, they think because I have this, I might have the Jay Z and DMX. Right. Battle, but I think the Rough Riders have that, correct? Who knows, man? Who had who knew the tape back then like that we do now? Right. But somebody did tape the Jay-Z DMX one. But I want to know how they got this camera in there. Oh, you think it was it was prohibited during that time? A, a video it, camera? It might not have been prohibited because it wasn't it wasn't so rampant back then. Right. Yeah, I guess. Is yeah, that's old, it it would have been easier to probably pull it off, except that there's they were big. Now, yeah, it's true. on stage filming is just the guy doing the big screenshots, right? Is that what's happening? I yeah. think that for the Na- for Nassau Coliseum, yeah. Yeah, wow. that's for the go on the screen. But, but I wonder if those things were recorded. Guys, is Nassau Coliseum open air stadium? No. Okay. No. No. They don't let the. They don't let things in Long Island be open air because then people might get hopes and dreams and Long Island likes to shut people down. Okay. Bring their spirits. Bring their spirits way down. Hey, listen, say whatever you want. The Nassau Coliseum is one of my favorite venues because when I used to go there, I love that they had multiple outdoor areas that you could What leave. is it for wrestling? Yeah. And they mm. had bars outside so you could walk out in the concourse you could step outside of the concourse and there was like a gate, you know, like a, you were still in the stadium, but you were outside. Right. Mm. And you could have a drink and smoke a cigarette and sit outside. It was great. Great time. Who played in NASA Coliseum? Islanders. Got it. Got it. Who's that bleak right there? Yep. Look at bleak. Now listen, this is a great transition. They flip it. Watch this. Oh, beats. Oh. See, this is the importance of a good DJ. Oh, Incredible. Clark Kent, by, by the way, Clark just confirmed to me 
It was Clark Kent DJing. And right. and Saif, that that's such an ill part because rather than go to Bean's verse on Change the Game, they just cut to his single instead. It, it fucking yeah. plays awesome. Yeah. Right. That's a real DJ. Shit going right into each other. An exciting part. <laughs> All right, so I think after this, uh, Beans does a little set. Oh, th there's the Clark. Yo, Clark, you ain't focused, man. <laughs> what, did he fuck up? He's singing all the songs. See, something ain't right, though. I'm going to bring it to no cipher, you haven't watched this yet. You're watching this for the first time. But sorry, what was that? No, I was asking if Cypher has seen it yet. If he's put his eyes on this yet. Not the whole thing, no. Gotcha. Yeah, this is just the singing part of Get Your Mind Right. Who's singing? I don't know. John Legend? It sounds like it, but it's not. Could it be? It's not, it's not Rel, is it? Maybe Rel. John Legend wouldn't dress like that. No, it looks like, it looks like a Rel type. Well, by the way, we could find out who's singing on... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they list anyone. Yeah, I don't remember a feature. I think it might be... I don't know, actually. He looks exactly like everyone else. This is the Dynasty album, right? From the Dynasty. Yeah. It's Rel. It's Rel. It's Rel. It's Rel. Got it. It's Rel. All right. Man, look at those shorts, guys. Shorts all the way down to the ankles. <laughs> Big shorts. <laughs> You know, I was in the fashion, into the fashion at the time, but we never went that far. We never did the shorts all the way to the ankles. Only Jay could pull that off. Yeah, people, oh, plenty of people tried. All right. All right. Guys, what a time. Only the people who attended experienced this. It's yeah. so crazy. And right? it, it's it's also crazy how many hits he already had pre-2001. Bro, it's like, and they're timeless. I'm, I'm, I'm watching this and play. I play most of these records today if I do a party. Right. That's, a tr that's true. And it's only five years after losing the doubt. It seemed like an eternity. It seemed, it seemed like, like an eternity. The, the amount of his fame from 96 yeah. to this. You know, everything, the changes from quality to his image, his flow, his cadence. Five years was a lot of time. Um, I want you to know, uh, Claudio, that my girlfriend just bought a lot of stickers from you. Oh, really? Is that what just happened? I just saw the notification. <laughs> I appreciate the support. That's awesome. She loves the stickers. Yeah, they're fire. Yo, Saif, he does some dope stickers on hiphopvcr.com of like, I'm I'm literally I'm literally going through it right now. The merch. Let's go. Let's go. I'm literally going awesome. through. It. Yeah, that's right. You know, I got um, Strick. Wait, uh, how do the shirts run? They run big. Uh they should be true to size. Maybe so. I gotta like get that. double. That's what you're saying. You're Ooh. saying I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yo, wow. is that a, is that the G Unit Double XL? No, this is uh, Murder Inc. The, oh, the Murder Inc. That never okay. happened. Fire. So yeah, you remember that cover with the back? You know, they got the yeah, of course. webs in, in the back. So that's the stuff oh. we're doing right now. And then we got the little cute stickers, you know, the discers. You know, What's you that collect... one? Oh, let me, I'm, I'm going to zoom in on you. Hold on. Let's see what that is. Well, di maybe a better one would be. Oh, oh the little disc. I see it. Saif, you see that? Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, so you collect the, you know, you collect your favorites for um, your favorite albums. Put them on your laptop, so on and so forth. It's a good little concept there. You it's know? very you ain't cool, doing man. no grimy shit if I order some shirts from your site, right? I don't, I don't, I don't plan to. 
He couldn't guarantee it, though, Sife. <laughs> I mean, yo, I don't know what he means by that, but yo, it's so good. <laughs> yo, guys, how about this part? Sife, EPMD coming out? What's up now, with that? What's I the only, connection? Jay's just a fan, I, I'm assuming. I have to assume because it's on Long Island. Well, but the, the, the excuse, the, the way they did it, whether this is, you know, whether they felt they needed to do this or it was just an excuse, they played a song off Bean's album, So What You Saying. And right. they did his cover of So What You Saying. Mm. And then I they even, did I a didn't realize that so existed. Got yeah. I, I have to say it's Long Island. By the way, though, it's funny, too. The crowd reacts. There's a part of this performance of theirs where the crowd raps every word. And you remember that in 01, performing this shit from 89 isn't that old. Right. And, of course, Eric was smoking hot with this song right there. Scythe. When Eric Sermon blew up with music, it felt like he was so old, like he had been like he had been in the game forever. Yeah, <laughs> like, a Yo, but, like a last minute hit that came later. Way. Meanwhile, if we were to go back and look at it, he was probably like thirty-two years old. That's incredible. Oh. Our perception so? of time is so different back then. Let's see. So he was Eric, probably eighteen and eighty-eight when they dropped. Maybe nineteen. He's, he's he's fifty-three now. So he so was 30, twenty years ago. He was thirty-three in 01. Wow, oh, you're right. And he was an old guy. <laughs> thirty-three years but old. Hove was above. Hove was roughly the same age. Yeah, Hove was the same age. Young. Well, I think Jay came in like at thirty years no, old. No, he came twenty-six when he made Reasonable Doubt. Got it. Got it. When so Reasonable Doubt came Jay out, 31. he was twenty-six. Yeah. Wow, man. <laughs> It explains why he's wearing trousers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's there's EPMD. Okay. Well, he knows he's still got the shotguns ready to blast, man. With yep. Michael, with Michael. Michael yep. Jackson. And I told him that y'all was gonna take that, so he kept me a thousand dollars. That y'all weren't still giving shit. You know I want that easy, so y'all keep that. Oh, I didn't even know he did that. What did he do? He threw like eighty thousand. Oh yes, I remember that. He threw. He said he threw eight thousand. Oh, eight thousand. Oh, eight thousand. Oh, oh, pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know I used to DJ for Little Kim, right? Wait, you did? Yeah, bro. Well, this just reminded me. Every show. They would throw out like five hundred or a thousand dollars. They would add, they would tell the promoter before we get there we need a thousand dollars in ones. Nice. And okay. every night they threw out more money than they paid me. Wow. It was fucking. <laughs> you know, I used to I used to feel disrespected. No, every I, night. I've never, you've never told me that. Bro, they threw out into the crowd more money than they paid me. Like, did you like, ever reach for it? <laughs> I should have. I should have jumped out. Oh my god! Don't this like, like, that this used to be a thing. Throwing money out, and people would go but, fucking but, nuts. But this is, but but this is different. Eight G's. Yeah, eight grand. I and, guess it's, at the it, time. And, and again, this is just to my point that I'm so impressed by about this show. He had so much plan. It, there's yeah. never a dull moment for the entire yeah, he was hour. On it. He was on there's it. Always something going on. <laughs> Bro, sorry, pause one more time. Bro, this shirt you have. Yeah, what's up? Hold on, let me see what life. Let me see what you're showing. Hold on, bro. Bro, let me tell you how. Yo, what's it? What I'm sorry, Claudio. Yeah, what it says. It. I sell. 
Ice in the winter, I sell fire in hell. I'm a hustler, baby. I sell water too. Now, what's the next word? Well, Jay Z just confirmed that it's both. It no, he. What do you mean, just confirmed? He confirmed it. They um, they had asked him. It was confirmed. He meant no, both. no, 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 no. We on One Up confirmed this years ago. Okay, years got it. So, who? Ago. Where are you hearing this new information? Because uh, who's DX stealing our news. fucking credit? D DX News reported it just a couple weeks Fuck. ago. So Rosenberg, really? talk two guys that never get the, our credit, bro. Got you. So wait. we asked him this years ago. Got it. I'm talking about years ago. Years uh -huh. ago. And he said, ha ha, both. And I'm like, Damn. no, it can't be both, bro. That's incredible. But you have a shirt that said one says water to a well. Yes. And one says water to a whale. So you choose. You, you choose pick whichever which one you think it is. Which one you like. This Yo, guy, I like this guy, man. I read the like description this guy, on man. that one. Read the description on the shirt. Oh, hold on. oh, fuck! Hold on. The description on that shirt. Once you click it, it went. It went. Oh no! I lost it. Hold on. I guess you can come back to it. Oh fuck! What happened? What did you do? Your site's ruined. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did it jump? To this, why won't it go back? My arrow right, won't so if, go back. All right, so if you hold on, you keep looking. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, so if he, oh, I see. That says well variant and well variant. No, no, well, the description is actually the you gotta read further. Where I gotta click it. on it, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. Uh, if you could triple your worth anywhere on God's green earth, then this T-shirt is for you. <laughs> Includes the Derek whale as opposed to well. That's it. That's it. That's the point. <laughs> that shirt's for good. you. That is amazing. That is very good, dude. Uh, Sight, by the way, he used the, the Carl Thomas "I Wish" uh, you know to play and then just to start over the song. So he does. I just want to love you. And now I think we get into the Michael Jackson. Oh boy. I want, I want you Everyone now is sitting down behind him. Everyone's like sitting on the DJ booth area. Okay, everybody relax. They're relaxed. They're, relaxed. They're waiting. One of the biggest stars in the The sample I got from was some funny shit. I got a sample from Michael Jackson. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, re I remember this part. Vividly. <laughs> I remember this part, but nobody else ever did. Nobody believed him. Where he at? Fuck yeah. <laughs> that is the most New York shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Scythe, in our telling of this story that we've had a million times on the podcast, did we ever talk about how long it took to happen? I don't I don't think so. I forgot. Like <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> it keeps going. But wait, we're still going. It's been a minute. And, and like he's building up the hype, right? It's not like there's a delay or anything, right? You think? By the way, they definitely think he's bullshitting. Yes. Right. And I would too. Check this out. I'm a bitch. He's just messing with the crowd. This is such a good setup, though. The whole thing is such a good setup. He knew he would do the I'm going to go get him myself. No, I don't think so. I don't think you don't, so. You don't you think, think something was happening back No, I think there was something going on. I got to find out. <laughs> Remember, I, always, I always tell you I was back there when Hove and Michael Jackson walked past me. So now I'm realizing Hove went back there to get him. There it is. And here he comes. 
Bro, that's crazy. This is the ultimate flex. Of all, absolutely. He gave him a pound, guys. <laughs> At this very moment. The, and here's the thing. It's not just that Michael's there. It's that he comes out at the end of an hour-long, flawless masterpiece. And does nothing. And does nothing. Well, he, he does he, nothing. He talks to the crowd. That was, that was good enough Here's for the crowd. Here we go. <laughs> so awkward, man. Yeah. It's so all look these security guys. Wow. Hey guys, you guys think that Kanye West has anything to do with that at all? That connection? Because he produced the record. No, no, no? way. Kanye was nobody back then. But he had produced those records. Yeah, he might be there. He might be there. Oh, he had to be there, but so now the, my how favorite, much did that, how much my did favorite that cost? shit here, Sai. My favorite shit here now is just how happy everyone is afterwards. Yeah. Like the walk everyone has. They won. They won. They won a game that yeah. the other people didn't even know they were playing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is this is a championship moment. This is this is uh, a they just won the Super Bowl. Yeah, against how many other people performed that night? You know what I mean? Who else performed that night, by the way? Um, who else performed? Uh, Nelly, Destiny's wow. Child, I think Luda. Wow, a lot of people. All right, that's great. Was this song out at the time? No. Was not out. I think three months later, right? Two months later. Now, Scythe, he does one verse, one way. This is the first time he's doing this? No. Yes. He did it. No, he did it at the BT Awards. Oh, okay. So they heard it before. Wait, Once. so the B hold on, hold on. When were the BT Awards? It was before this, I believe. Yeah. The I BT Awards are usually late June. That, is this? this is early June. Yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, do, do we know it's early June? That's what Summer Jam is now. Do we know if the, back then it was at that time? Yeah. Well, yes, I have. We a know date. now. We I know now date. Summer Jam is always the first. Oh, uh, 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 you're, he, I stand corrected. Yeah. You're right. I Thursday. remember that. It and I have that was, video. It says it was Thursday, June 28th. That's, That's right. Summer Jam. It was a right. fucking Thursday, bro. And I, I already published the video where he performs that song for the first time on the BET Awards, and it was it caught everyone off guard, including the viewers. It was incredible. Right. So, but so, so still, e either way, though, people still didn't know this that well. No. Which is probably why he only did the one verse, then gets out. Right. And then this closeout, Scythe, the last minute here is some of the craziest shit ever. The fact that he paid to do what he does right here. Wait for it. Plays We Are the Champions, complete with confetti and balloons. <laughs> How 97 pay for that? No. No way. No. How 97, 97 wouldn't pay for, for shit. Anything. <laughs> nah. nah, they did all this, bro. They spent more than they made. Wait, who's shouting out the after party? Hmm. <laughs> all right. Bro, let me tell you something. What they did 
that night, we're still talking about it to this day. It's incredible. His his radiance, right? And is... We're talking about the hip-hop aspect. The most important things to us is the Prodigy and Nas diss, which yeah. started the whole Nas war, right. and the Prodigy picture, and then the Michael Jackson, because in hip-hop, it is the ultimate flex of all flexes. But But all of it, every little moment you depicted Rosenberg is like created this monumental performance exactly. that even if you even if you don't remember the performance that well it solidified this guy they spent more than they possibly could have made yes they start flying with- michael jackson out alone mm. right it had to be fucking if, if they 60 grand now, now maybe michael was already in new york and yes. Hope was able to convince him they were recording the song girls 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 remix no, 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 no. You Rock My World remix. B- both. They did a Girls, Girls, Girls remix with Michael Jackson? I, I but Kanye West did the beat, and that, that, um, that's, it sounds like a woman, but supposedly it's Michael Jackson, don't, um, sped up. Don't know more than us on our own podcast, Claudio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you trying to embarrass us? Yeah, man. <laughs> Jay-Z reveals, in 2009, Jay-Z reveals Michael Jackson sang on Girls, Girls, Girls. All right, you guys got to give me a job, something. Yo, I, I, we're looking I, for a job. You got to give me a job. I'll sell yeah. merch. Yo, um, vocals of Michael Jackson. Nah, I don't. He wasn't in. I mean, even if he was in town recording, they still had to pay for it. Like, well, here's a question: When? Did how much is it to get world? Michael Jackson? What do you say? How much? I mean, I don't think he's going to charge them a fee. Oh well, by the way. This should be noted too. They probably were in the studio. More importantly, for you, rock my world, which came out in August of two thousand one. Of the next, yes. So it came out. The original version came out two months later. The remix came out a month after that. Right. So, Sife, they may have just had a session literally the day before that day, whatever. Right. But either way, even if not that, even if not that, he had to get Missy to town. Yeah. He had to he had to get uh the pyro at the beginning of the show. Like it's it's a it's such a thorough that's why I was so excited about it because we just take away the prodigy on the summer jam screen and we take away the Nas diss and the Michael coming out. But when you watch it in its entirety, I really think it's a masterpiece performance. It's fucking Incredible. amazing. Call Guru. Call young guru? Call Guru. Let's ask him. What what part are we asking him? Do you, you think he'll know? Because I don't think they would record. I don't think Michael Jackson would record a song with Jay Z in New York. Jay Z yeah. would have to go to L.A. for that. I think my theory is that they recorded both songs at the same time for the same session, and it was an exchange. One for but Jay. Michael Jackson has his own studio. Like you got to go to him. Yeah, what I true. think. I think Kanye is the key. I think Kanye brought them together. Kanye no. didn't know Michael then. No, Kanye was nobody. Kanye. He produced no. the track. Yeah, yeah but, but Kanye, he was a. Kanye was you gotta nobody. think Kanye wasn't even out yet. He was like just a random producer. He was, he was just he was just a guy. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. He knows his thing. That's what made him big. Yeah, right. So up till then, he's just a guy trying to hustle and get on. Got gotcha. you. Um, hey, listen, Claudio, this has been a treat. Consider yourself a friend of the show. Thank you, guys. If you stumble on some more shit, look at that. You should I buy? On- should I buy these shirts or? On you, brother. No <laughs> refunds, no returns. Saif, was that you trying to ask for a hookup? Oh, should I buy it or should he lace me? Nah, I'll buy it. Whatever. Uh, real quick before you guys let me go, Saif. Um, I've um uh-oh, we've met this, before this, because uh-oh. I photographed um your mother-in-law's 90th birthday. I was the photographer at that event. Do you remember that day? Salome's 90th. This is this is way too private for one episode. <laughs> well, either Bro, way, you we know met- what's so funny? I you you looked and sound familiar, gotcha. and I was wondering how I knew you. There you and go. This guy drops. <laughs> Wait, how long ago was this event? Twenty seventeen. Five years ago. <laughs> wow. So you're a photographer by trade. Son, when, I'm, a when you came- I'm a professional photographer. Wow. When you came on. I was like, I met this guy before, but I just don't remember where. Yeah. That is hilarious. Yes, yes. So you with remember the fucking, that. With the, 
What do you mean with the old Filipino lady DJ? Yes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I was the photographer for that event. I recognize. I remember a hundred percent, man. Okay, yeah, that was me. I remember a hundred percent. By the way, um, that is so funny, bro. Since you're a photographer, go yeah. check out my uh, my girl's page. She, um, oh. she's a photographer, Miss Hatton on Instagram. Miss Hatton, you got it. Okay, I'll yep, find Ms. it. Absolutely. Yo, Claudio, man, I'll be in touch, bro. I'll send you my number. You got anything interesting <laughs> for us? Holler us. You got it, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. There man, he is. Thanks for coming on, bro. Yo, oh what, my a, God. what a, was I wrong though? <laughs> Besides that, he just gave out your wife's grandmother's government name. Um, <laughs> And he said it wrong too. <laughs> but but he's a he's a pretty cool regular. He's a cool, cool regular bro, dude. I swear to God, I mean, bro, you know us. We meet so many people, and like he's got a Rockefeller hat. Like I was like, I know this guy from somewhere. I couldn't think where. And then he says that I was like, I know, I remember this exactly. I remember meeting this guy. Yo, Cipher, thank you for doing this today. We I, I didn't know if you'd get bored and want to. Uh, nah, this was great, man. This was what fun. Are you, what are you? Why are you faking me? It's my show. I, I know, <laughs> but, I, but 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 I came up, I had the thought of like, I want I want to watch the whole thing with him. I don't want him to be like, all right, let's not. But you got so into it. I'm just so happy you loved it so much. <laughs> what, what is happening right now? <laughs> when I texted you this week, you were excited, but you weren't. No, I, no, I did not understand why you were so excited re this week. And I get it now. It's fucking... It's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's about, it's I mean, awesome. yeah, like, and it's only, I don't, it's a, we live in a weird time because that was 21 years ago, right? Or roughly. Yep. Yet those songs are timeless. I still play them to this day. But technology has moved in such a fucking, like, what, like, was this Sky Tells? I guess we had Sky Tells back then. Yeah. Like, wait, play a part of the video. See if there's a close-up of Jay's hip. No. <laughs> I, I don't need to know. He absolutely is wearing a sky tie. Wait, on his hip while he performed? Or would they absolutely. put him on? The, Bro, or did somebody, o, somebody was o holding one. him? It's 01. There's no way he's not wearing the time port. <laughs> there's no way. And then, like, Jay-Z gets a bad rap. Of not being a good performer. Like, this shit was fire. Fire. Bro, I saw him a couple years earlier. I saw him at WPGC birth ba Birthday Bash 99. He was not great. This is two no. years later, yeah. and it's completely different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that guy is fucking amazing, bro. I want to well, ask him. Next time I see him, I'm going to ask him about uh, the Michael Jackson session. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask. So, oh, so you, so you mentioned earlier, as Hope's seen it. I reached out to uh, my man, James Samuel, who produced the movie, The Harder They Fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed. He's like, he, he does a lot of stuff with Hove these days. Yeah, I've seen him. And, um, you know, listen, there are other people I, I could hit up who, in theory, could ask Hove a question. But James is one of those dudes that's just like a connector type. Yeah. So I hit him up and I, I had a hunch. I was like, he'll, he'll tell Hove. I was like, I sent him the post and I wake up the next morning and I check my DMs and he sends me a um, voice note and he's like, yo, wicked, bro. I'm going to send this to him right now. <laughs> and then and then when I got up, we messaged back and forth and he said he he sent it to Hove. And when Hove saw the video of himself, he said, I believe the quote was, yo, Jigga's really something. No, he goes, he goes, <laughs> Jigga something else. <laughs> <laughs> Jigga as in a past life. Uh, that's what like I'm as a, as like a different person. That's kind of how I took it that he said because yeah. he read it to me verbatim and he said it was Jigga something else. <coughs> that's and dope. Like, he saw it. it. He did see it though. That's dope, son. He did see it. That's dope. We should get Nas to put this out for us. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, that was a lot Yo. of fun. We'll see you next week. Yo, man, uh, appreciate the love and support, WANEP fans, for, for life. Um, at Cypher Sounds, at Rosenberg Radio. Hit what us you, up. What are you doing? What are you, what I'm are you telling doing? our, you know what, our, fan, our people, I don't want to say fans, just our people, uh, get more in contact with us, man. Let us yeah, know we, where we we're at. You. We do and love Spread you. the word, baby. Spread I know. We word. promise. We promise no mistakes for at least two weeks. <laughs> 